All right, well, we've got a cupola that we're gonna install on this roof. And honestly, I think a cupola is a very, I think cost-effective way to add a lot of flair to what otherwise could just be a boring, you know, mono-pitched, or I guess a dual-pitched, but a just a mono-ridge roof with no real accents. And we're gonna go ahead and build that. You guys come along for the ride if that interests you. And this is actually, we haven't done a Plyco brand, so this is a Plyco brand cupola. You can buy all different cupolas out there, and I think most of them are similar, so it looks very similar, but they just got a couple different ways of doing things. So you guys are actually gonna learn a little bit while I learn because I haven't done this exact setup. I don't remember. I am 40, so I do forget things, but let's go ahead and get into this. Instructions, we don't need them. We got a good idea what we're doing. Uh, I mean, I just needed to look at the pictures a little better, I guess. What was I doing? So what we're gonna do is start with this, uh, wall kit and this cupola is actually going to have the clear glass it's actually like a plexiglass um, and a lot of times clients will put like a light up in their cupola but if nothing else it just looks pretty sweet with this instead of just some raw colored metal so we're gonna need these windows and we're gonna start with two because they get put together and then um, I need my corner pieces which so far this all looks like something I've done in the past. So here we have our corners. These have like a built-in hem. And that is how these corners go together. I think these are pretty, pretty foolproof, so I shouldn't have too much of a hard time figuring this out because I've done a couple different ones. <laughs> no, I did the, it's, it's okay, it's okay. I just got to change this one here. I was not paying attention. They look very similar, the tops and the bottoms, but clearly they are not. So what I've got to do is I got to pull this guy. A nice solid surface does make this a little bit easier to work on instead of a piece of cardboard on the gravel, but we're going to work with what we got. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, without looking at the instructions, I'm pretty sure I'm upside down. So what I'm going to do is just... I'm going to rock this over. That, that went better than anticipated. All right, so now what we've got to do is we're going to frame the roof and there's some, you know, right now it's, it's pretty wobbly. And this is where it's kind of new for me. So these guys, based on everything I can tell, are going to go somehow in here. And this is where I'm going to have to do some, some thinking. But I think they're going to go Something like, so, I don't know. Oh, wait a second. Probably like this. No. I don't want to look at the instructions, but I think I'm going to have to. I don't want to mess it. Oh, wait, maybe here. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. I think I got this. All right, so once we get these all in place, what you can see here is we've got two screw holes pre-drilled and then we've got these slots for screws. So I think I seen some screws right here, not the painted head ones. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line this up here. Hmm. I wonder. The way that this is done is a little bit different, but these all kind of slid in here and I hope I have this right. It seems to be good. And then I got these screws right out here that kind of go in. My only question is, is there any screws down here? See, there's nothing, like, see how I got these screw holes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it could be just like how you'd normally do it, like you just send it through. Send it through the, the frame. Is there, you got gray screws, right, or no? Um, I think I have a couple gray screws. I don't know. If you have gray screws, I would imagine that they would go into your, like, 
I just go through the bottom of the frame into the box. Yeah, this is where I'm going to find out. See, this is where now I'm like, uh, this doesn't seem to be the right, right way. See how far away I am? See? Oh. Mm-hmm. But I can't go on the inside. I didn't fit on the inside. So I think I'm actually, yeah, I'm supposed to screw these together. Do you see screw holes? Me, yeah. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Ah, dude, I, this is way, this is way more work than the other one. I think so, yeah. I have to screw the walls together before I put the corners on. Oh, wait. Yes. Really? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm wondering why there's so many of these uh, silver screws. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, well, you know, sometimes it's, uh, you know, you live and you learn. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the instructions in the first place. Not so yeah. See? Look. They go together. This makes sense. And then this will be the bottom. So I do have it upside down. It happens, dude. It's no big deal. You know, they only they say that it's only a mistake if you don't fix it, right? I, I mean, you can make mistakes. You learn from it. Well, I like I said, guys, you guys are going to learn this with me because this is the first time I've ever done this style of um, cupola. The good thing is when you guys see the base that this all sets on on the roof. That is a very, I think that's a very nice thing because this is about the most well pre-done base that we bought from Plyco. So um, that'll save me from having to figure out what to do. And actually this is a lot nicer, Greg. This really, this is really gonna stiffen up this design. Okay. Yeah, you're upside down. Yeah, the bottom is right here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them together just so it doesn't come apart on me. And then like this. Shouldn't come apart, should be plenty strong. Beautiful, thank you, sir. You are a gentleman and a scholar. All right, I'll call you if I can't read the directions anymore and you can tell me what the pictures say. You know, this does make sense, this is a Nice strong design, I guess, versus just having those corners hold everything together. I think the reason that I didn't, well, the reason I didn't do this is that normally the one that we use is an MWI and they make a really nice strong uh, cupola as well. Their window walls are like really solid and then they have a piece of plywood that ends up holding it all together. And while I, I guess you have to take my word for it, um, it doesn't require all of this fastening like uh, this one is doing, but I don't think it matters. I think it's just as it's just as good. Now that we have that done, I'm just going to follow the instructions and I'm going to see what the next step is. I'm going to look at the picture. Screwed together, screwed together. Okay, then what they've actually got us doing is screwing these together next instead of putting them in first which, fair enough, we're just gonna do it. I'm gonna follow the directions. One, two, three. All right. You know, I always say like the, when you're doing something like this new, the first one is like the learning, and the second one, you probably do it in about uh, like a third of the time, because you already know exactly what kind of the little nuances are. Um, so hopefully by you guys watching this video, you'll already learn and know what to look out for. I think probably having a second set of hands would be handy on some of this, but Greg is, uh, Greg right now is working on another task. So hopefully his efficiency is gonna um, help out instead of sitting over here, basically watching me do most of this and occasionally hold, because this, this is not too bad. Now they got it figured out. So for me, what we've learned is, you know, this looks like I'm kind of struggling getting this figured out because it's the first time, but we've done probably, I mean, maybe 50 cupolas. We've done 
like pre-built cupolas where they kind of show up in a box and you assemble it like this. And we've also done cupolas where you basically cut all the metal, you frame a box, and then you put the pieces together. And um, this is way better than that. But if you're probably looking to save money, this is not the option. So this cupola right here, if I remember correctly, was around the $1,500 or $1,700 range. They used to cost me like $900. So you can tell where prices have gone. I mean, this is all like a lot of extruded aluminum. Um, but if you're wanting just a very basic cupola, I'm sure you could probably cut that cost in half. Especially if you're looking to do a lot of the assembly yourself. Um, and you'll see when you see the base, that's really the most cumbersome part of the DIY kits where you have to put everything together. But uh, this, is, this is usually the pretty easy part. So I'm thinking that this is gonna go right on the outside. Boom. And this is what's giving us our structure in the cupola. This is why you pay a little bit more money when looking at different cupolas is, is the way that they're built. Because when these are up on the top of the roof, they, they're hit by a lot of winds and I've seen them get tore apart. So all of this little extra work that we're doing is hopefully going to provide a long lifetime for this cupola so nobody has to go up there later. So now that we have this done, I'm gonna look at these instructions. It looks to me like we now screw on. Okay, we got these little corner pieces. So this is what's gonna keep us nice and square. Okay, I got must have a couple other over here. See, Greg, that's actually not too bad. It kind of went together really nice once I did it the right way. So, putting two screws through the outside, that's gonna go, okay, and that's gonna be hidden, so we probably are gonna use these screws that are just galvanized, but um, mount roof assembly on side unit. Use the appropriate type of number of fasteners compatible with the supporting box or supporting pre-assembly curb. I bet you it's the, these. Yeah. Those, this what these are. are. This does make this a little bit easier. Okay, so what this is gonna do is, uh, it's gonna kind of force this to be square and solid. I don't even know how I could even check that. I can't really get my square in there, but it looks like it's pretty decent. Yeah, looks good to me. I think this is definitely going to be a nice and stout cupola uh, compared to some of them that I've installed in the past. A lot more fasteners, I'll say that. Okay, so now that we've got that done, um, I think we're going to put together the roof and then we'll connect it to the walls. Um, one thing that I can tell you is that, you know, this might be a more expensive cupola, but I... Greg, this thing's gonna be pretty solid, dude. Like the way that these gussets are in these corners, uh, it's a nice thick gauge metal with some uh, bends, which are gonna add even more rigidity. Trust me, I've, we've put up some cupolas in the past that were cheap, you know, they're cheap. You're gonna save a little bit of money. But when you're up there and you're thinking, how is this thing gonna hold up here in the 100 mile an hour winds that we do occasionally see? And we've probably lost one weather vane did we lose a roof once? Yeah, we, the roof popped in one time. Yeah, I think we, we did have some damage on a roof one time, and we I believe we lost a weather vane. Yeah, that was up at uh, up in Elgin. Remember, it fell over, yeah. and we had to go and put a new new uh, new weather vane on top. But uh, I think the way that this is going together so far, I'm feeling really good about it. So let's go ahead now and 
these are our roof panels. Come on. Yeah, I might need some help with this big dog. So these are going to have, once again, this hem. This is very similar to every other one that I've done. It's got this hem here. We've got some structural like uh, plate here. And this is going to, if you look under here, you've got another, um, I guess, channel that this, this hem is gonna slide into. So when I take this, it's gonna slide in. And then this is gonna go on here. And uh, first one, it's not gonna really self-support. So what we gotta do is, it does. oh, actually it does. Uh, as long as it doesn't break itself, I guess. Uh, maybe we don't. You do have to be careful with these guys because they are, it is a big flat piece of metal. So they can get kinked when you're doing this. I think these are the things that I'm always concerned about. Like how do these hold up, you know? You come on from that side and, mm -hmm. and then this should support itself. I go underneath your piece. Yeah. Okay. Now put these together and those should be good there. So what Greg was saying is if you look at this guy here, this is like a flat-ish end versus this end is a nice 45 degree miter. I don't know who's gonna see it from the ground up there on the cupola, but that miter should be on the bottom so that it looks nice and clean. Um, I wouldn't even worry about that yet, dude. We got, yeah, we'll get this all member put together and we slide it up in, otherwise there's really no structure. So kind of see it better here. We got a nice miter. And then on this side, It's not a nice miter. So we just slide in the miter over top of the flat area or underneath in this case. Okay, well, Greg's getting that last one. To, wait, oh, no, you already got it. We don't, yeah, the last one's ready to go. We yep. Just need to put Do you have the lags? I don't have 7 16 I gotta get a 7 16 And then what we're gonna do is this, uh, this plate goes on the bottom Greg's uh, weather vane plate is gonna go on the top and we bolt it together and that's what's gonna put all this together. So let me go grab that and then we'll, we'll go ahead and install this. Maybe while you're... All right, so Greg went ahead and is looking for this 716 so I can put this together. And so we've got this plate, we're gonna set this in. Um, this is kind of tricky, it can be anyway, because you gotta get all these different holes to line up. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the first one. I'm just gonna start hand tightening these. Hopefully I can line it up. I think try it. We don't wanna tighten anything all the way anyway because we do need to get our corner pieces on that cover up these lips and also add a lot of structure. So we're just gonna loosenly hand tighten these. And then once I get the first three on, now I can go ahead and slide this last roof piece on, making sure that I go the right way. So if I come this way, then this is gonna be underneath. We don't want that. So I need to come from this side. Okay, and then we just kind of shove everything in here. Now the question is, am I underneath or I can't see there? Am I underneath or on, oh, yeah, I'm perfect. Okay, I was making sure that I wasn't underneath that plate mm -hmm. i'm in right. between the two okay so let's let's just hand but we need to go get our corners in yeah we've we've done that before so now we have these corners and these are once again just a double hemmed piece of metal and then we've got these tabs up here you know what i think yeah, we need to loop, we need to keep this loose so we can that's what i said yeah but what i was wondering is are these tabs actually go up or do they bend around the bottom? That's what the picture said. <laughs> <laughs> We've always just shoved them up there into the top. And I think that's where they Yeah, go. I think we're gonna do that. Forget that, I like that anyway. So we just line this up. Yeah, they go up. 
Good, see, we've always done it right. This is actually a little bit tricky. Get them on both sides. This is when you're afraid to cut yourself. Greg, hold. Never mind, I think I got it. Yeah, like I want to like push this up, but it's going to want to pick up on me. See what I'm saying? Oh, boy. I feel like at any moment it could slip and I'd lose everything, dude. Everything, everything. everything. Blood gushing everywhere. It'd be cool to catch, capture that on film. Yeah, I guess that'd be the only... Content. No pain, no gain. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is this. I don't know why that's so tight. Oh boy, let's do this. You have to start bending down. How much further? Okay. All right, so that goes up under there and the reason we always thought, and I guess we're maybe correct, we never looked at the picture before. I've never looked at the picture before. Mm -mm. But when this gets all tightened up, that little bend is gonna get cinched in there and it will stop these from coming out because I have seen where they have uh, worked themselves right out. Okay, let's hope it gets a little bit easier. Hand me one of them bad boys. Oh, okay. There, okay. Now yeah, go ahead. Gosh. Oh. <laughs> that actually hurts my shoulder. <laughs> we can do this with the power of friendship. I know. Okay, we got to work these all up. Clearly, this is a chore. How is this so tight, man? Here, this one I was getting pretty good. You should be able to go all the way up. Good lord. Oh, did you get it? No, I think I did. Good boy. Yeah, you know I'm gonna do that screw a little bit, cause I ain't bringing it back I don't down. Think you can bring it down, can you? No. <laughs> you had one job, dude. I tried, man. I tried. <laughs> just, just don't. Yeah, just don't lose it. I can't believe how tight these are. We gotta get up a little further before I start pounding this, dude. You can put, yeah, right there. Ready? One, two. Oh, one. Nice, dude. What just happened? <laughs> what did we, we do? We just unlocked a new level. <laughs> <laughs> level up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So now these walls are much more sturdy, but we still haven't fastened it to the actual lighted walls. Lighted walls? That's what they say on the instructions. Um, okay, so go ahead and tighten this guy down here. I don't oh. want to use this your drill. So I okay, fair enough. Let's not go too hard. There are some locking washers on there because when we get up there, we might have to adjust that to make it, yeah. you know, to make it plumb. Looks like that size will. Okay, so wait, where's our weather vane? Is there no weather vane? Huh. Are you kidding me? We have to come back and put a weather vane? Oh, Greg, we just really messed up. What? Oh, no, we didn't. Let's take this off and put our corners on, eh? Good thing, uh, good thing we still can take this off. Nice and solid, too. It is really solid. Yeah. Let's just set that down. All right, now it's time to put our corners on, which you already seen us try to do. Yeah, I will say this has taken probably twice as long as normal because mm -hmm. oh, yeah. it's kind of new. Yeah. Typically, this is like a 10 minute, 10 minute deal here. Comes out of the package and we're like, boom, boom, up on the roof. All right, now we can put this on and that's gonna slide right into these grooves.
I'm good. That's it. Okay. You saying don't even put this on yet, just put the box together. Don't even put it on yet. Shoot, we don't have to do, we can put it all together up there. Yeah, just put the base on, put the walls on, put the roof on, and then. I agree, I agree. Okay, so we're gonna do something different, and that actually allows us to do this because it's kind of its own individual three-piece unit. And now what we've gotta do is take a look at this. This is where really you're paying the money, is this base is all pre-built and pre-flashed, trimmed. All we have to do, I guess it's all, it's all done, it's not flashed, because that's what we have to do, is do our side flashing um, before we put our ridge cap on. And this is gonna go up under here and provide a, a flash so that the water's not going where this um, cupola is, even though there is going to be a roof underneath of it, so if water did get under, it really wouldn't be a big deal. But I think we're ready to put all these pieces in the lift and go up and install it. All right, so before we take this up, there is one thing that we forgot to do, and that was during the roof install of the building, we did not install additional framing where this is gonna mount. So what we need to do is climb up there, take our lift up there, hopefully, and maybe a little bit of ladder work and add us some additional framing before we mount the cupola base up on the roof. Greg, don't stand on the top rung of a ladder, okay? Especially in a scissor lift 18 feet off the ground. Greg, I told you you can't do that. Legally, you've made up your own mind. I can't change it now. You've already done what you've done, so be safe, okay? Yeah. That's just for insurance purposes. <laughs> <laughs> I really care about your safety, Greg, and you know that. I care about your safety more than anybody out there. Maybe your mom's about the only one that. I'd venture to say that I probably care more than your dad. He'd be like, nah, dude, you're good. <laughs> you're gonna figure it out. No, but seriously, just hold on when you're up there, please. Okay, um, go ahead and hand me the roof. Just hand me the point. Okay, got it. Yep. Oh, dude, that is a pretty solid deal, actually. Yeah. Okay. Windows, oh. Is that gonna be, it's all screwed together, it should be good, right? No, the sides aren't screwed at all. So they'll, they could slide right off. Well, it's the corners. The corners should slide right off. Yeah. Um. Yep, see that one just kind of slid, but that's all good. Okay, I got this side, keep coming up, keep coming up, and I got it. Oh boy. Yeah, let's do that real quick. So before we, uh, before we take the base up, which is this guy here, we're gonna go ahead and install these flashings, which uh, I don't know why we didn't do that. We, we definitely wanna do that before we take it up, so. All right, so what we have to do here, basically right now, this is flash so the water will run over our roof, but the sides, there's nothing here. So I think they leave these off in case you're, do you think they leave these off in case you're gonna go in a rib or a flat? Because you don't really have a whole lot of options. I think they leave those yeah. options. Get your square? Yeah. Throw your square on there. Where's the center at? Right there. Let's just get a, mm -hmm. okay. Just get a nice little cut. So this is going to go over top down at the bottom, but I need it to be underneath here. So we're gonna lift, gotta lift this up. Get yours kind of, yeah, just like that. Hmm. I don't think these pieces are big enough. It's got, must have to like go underneath. And pull that off. Go underneath, yeah. Oh, lines up perfectly down here. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So it's underneath, so the water that does go there will go right over, and we'll end up screwing this down right here. So yeah, that's that's how this one works, I guess. I would rather go the other way. Yeah. But maybe it doesn't really matter. Wait, hold up. I'm uh, what, what? on the inside there. Oh no, yeah, you want to be on the other side. Yep.
don't think it's going to go anywhere. Uh -uh. Nope. We just want to be out of the way of our ridge cap. And that's all, that'll all get screwed down. Easy peasy. Let's do the other one. Where's that? Okay, hold it up tight there. Okay. All right, so now that we have those on, we can go put this on the roof and get this thing installed. That was easy, I guess. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty similar to our other one. But yeah. normally we have to install all this black trim and build the galvanized steel box. So, all right, let's go. Easy peasy. All right, before you go, if you want, I can take that, uh, I can take that box out. Okay. Actually, let me go, f oh no, no, it's right over the center. It's four bays, right? Yeah, it should be right in the center. Yeah, yeah just like that. Okay, I got this one, and now I got this one. Yep, yeah, this, this roof is pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna find the center here because obviously you want this. Actually, you know, some people would maybe do it off-centered, but you know, like a church, you know how the steeple is like towards the front? <laughs> Let's not do that. Oh, okay, all right. But that's your center mark, right? So we know that we can use these ribs as our guide side to side. You know what we don't have? What? What don't we have? We're gonna rely on that. Oh, we need a level, don't we? We need to make sure that the base is level. Otherwise, when we put the walls and the roof and the weather vane, eventually when we get it, because I didn't get one, um, we don't want it leaning. So if, if the base is not level, then obviously everything could be out of plumb. So I need to go back down and get a, get a level. Greg, hang tight, buddy. Don't go nowhere, okay? <laughs> Can't make no promises. Yeah. This is what you really, this is what you really uh, were gonna tell me that when I wasn't here, you had to do everything, right? No, can't really hear you, buddy. But we'll we'll come back up. We'll hear your story. All right. So what we've got is these guys here. These big old boys are for fastening the cupola into the framing underneath uh, the roof. So that's what Greg did. And then we've got our miscellaneous. Is that I don't exactly know where these all go, but um, I'm gonna find out. It seems like a lot of extra screws. I guess if you don't have an extra screw, did you do it right? You get it, Greg? Yeah, it sure is windy. Why, why do we choose to do this when it's so windy? I don't know, but it should be good. Yeah. I'm good, you good? You can double check it if you want. I don't need to double check it. If it's good for you, it's good for me and the girls I run with. Yeah. What about the guys you run with? They're at a different standard. <laughs> All right, so if we are lucky, you got your framing underneath here? Yeah. I mean, it's not luck. I think I need to, I think I need to, uh, well, look, there's no metal tip on this because they're made to go into so, wood. Okay, so what if you took, uh... I'm going to take one of the other bits, or screws. Okay, what about one of the self-tappers? That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to take a self-tapper and go through everything metal. Here, can you hold them for me? I can't get them back. It is windy as can be. Huh? Can't hear you over the sound of the wind. Oh yeah. yeah. The nice thing is that this is not just a piece of trim. There's like a piece of galvanized metal also underneath of it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it on the other side now so that we can make sure we're level. Do you like it? Yeah, I would yeah, say. I'd say it's good. Great. Just making sure that with the level, you know, it is a little bit kind of a guessing game and experience does help, but when you put your screw in, it can suck in and kind of take it off of level. So sometimes you have to just put them in and, and go from there and maybe uh, suck one in a little bit harder to make it plumb up. What are you grinning about? I'm not grinning, I'm plenty. Okay. I think that's it. Yep, okay. 
So once we got the four four corners kind of level, then we can just do the rest of these. Greg, you got the other screws? Okay. So that's the base. The base is pretty easy, but it's also the most important because uh, without it being level, your cupola will not look good at all. Actually, you're gonna have to come over here, Greg. Oh, and notice we did not do any ridge cap yet. So I'll actually have another video where we'll be doing all the ridge cap, the gable trims, all the kind of finishes on the roof. But uh, you gotta get this installed first before you put your ridge cap on. All right, so we just set this, uh, the wall assembly. And the, Greg, this feels pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this screwed down. And then uh, why don't you go ahead and grab, the, uh, roof. grab that roof section, man. The drawing shows me screwing through this guy here, but I just don't like it. I'm gonna do it anyway, that's where it says to do it. I just don't like the gray screw, you know? Yeah, the galvanized screw. Yeah. But I suppose it's a bigger screw, it's gonna hold a little bit better. Oh no. Broke. That's not good. Okay, Greg, let's go ahead and get that on. So you don't have to hold it, and then I can get that screwed in too. Now this has to go in between those. Easy, dude. All right, so these already have pre-drilled holes though. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right, that's easy. Look at, dude, that is nice. Look, look at how, look at like it flushes it up on that trim. See that? Oh, wow. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. That's good. That really is pretty dang nice. Like, I don't know if you can get much better than that. Okay, so we might've spent a little bit more time down on the ground. But that was definitely easier up in the air. Yeah. I liked how we could do it in pieces. Yes, yes, it makes it so much easier. Hey. I, I might be in the wrong spot. Yeah, I think you're hitting something on the inside. Hmm. Yeah, it must be going or something. All right, now I think Greg, we need to screw up also. I think I need to do something here, maybe. They showed it going in there. Black. I'll take whites or blacks, or blacks quarters? No, five sixteen. Okay, here, I need one for each corner. Okay, now that we've got it in place, I'm just putting these final screws in to kind of lock in the, the roof together. And what do you think, Greg? Up here is definitely a lot easier, and it's pretty solid. Yeah, I think doing it in three pieces, that's the first time we've ever brought pieces up. We always bring the whole cupola up yeah. and then fight with it. So that was definitely pretty nice. That's the cupola install. We do have a weather vane. Um, I just talked to my supplier. He's gonna get it uh, shipped to us overnight, I think, so we'll be able to put that in. But uh, now what we're gonna do is we needed that for ridge cap. We're gonna be putting the ridge cap on in another video that has to do with a lot of these finishing trims. So if you're interested in that, check that out. And hopefully, I don't know, hopefully you guys can hear me because it's the wind's hitting pretty hard up here. So we'll catch you on the next one.